how to make a repeat pattern in Photoshop faster and easier. This video is a sequel to my how to make a repeat pattern tutorial. I recommend watching that video first so you understand the logic behind repeat pattern, but before you start working on your own design, watch this video too. There is this magic tool in Photoshop that makes making repeat patterns easier and faster. And the magic tool is Offset. We can forget about the guides and snapping for now, even though you can still use those tools to help you compositing the design. I'm using Adobe Photoshop. If your view is different from mine, check that your workspace is set to Essentials. Before we go to the actual tool, we need to be sure that we have these two things perfectly. First, we need to know the exact size of our image in pixels. You can find it by going to the image, image size. Write down both the width and height. Make sure you're looking at your size in pixels, it's the box in right. Then divide the amount in two. I'm using a calculator to make sure I get it right. If your canvas size is not divisible by two, you need to resize your canvas so that it is, since you cannot offset a half pixel. You can resize your canvas without distorting your image in the image canvas size. Change the measurement to pixels, add one, OK. Be sure to do this before you've done any offsetting, since otherwise you'll get one pixel gap in your design and you do not want that. The second important thing to do is that you need to crop the canvas with the crop tool before you do the offset. This is important because Photoshop is such a smart program that it remembers and counts the pixels also outside your canvas border. So even if you're not seeing it, it might be there. Photoshop offsets the image from the border of the illustration, not the canvas you're working on. I'm demonstrating with these two pictures what happens if you haven't cropped the canvas and there's part of your illustration outside your canvas when you're offsetting. So basically it's just a big mess and you don't want this. You can always undo things with my favorite shortcut Ctrl C or Command C if you're working with Macbook. So just in case, always crop your canvas before you do the offsetting. And then we're ready to do the offset. Go to Filter, Other, Offset. Type in the right numbers. And ta-da! Remember that it does the offsetting on the layer you're on. So if you want to keep your layers separate, you have to do the offset to each layer individually, or you can merge the layers together with the right mouse click, merge down or merge visible. Now you can repeat the steps on the first how to make a repeat pattern video. Go to edit, define pattern. Open a new file with a lot larger canvas. Go to edit, fill, choose pattern in the contents, choose your pattern from the custom pattern menu, click OK. You can do the same offset in different size canvases, squares or rectangles, just to be sure always to check the canvas measurements before you are offsetting to get the right results. If you want to learn more about pattern design and how to flourish in visual arts, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of the new videos. I'm planning to do videos about how to choose the size of your pattern, how to choose the colors, and what do I mean by cleaning up the pattern. Comment if you have questions or there's something you're especially curious or inspired by. 
I'm also considering about making this workbook, ebook type of thing about pattern design. Since it's sometimes easier to learn things by reading at your own face rather than looking at videos. So let me know if that would be something that you're interested in and I shall get to it. Thank you for tuning in. I am Ellie. This was Ellie's illustration. See you on the next one. Bye. And yes, this is how much my hair has grown in two years. <laughs>